Hi, this is Beth Bonert. I'm the lead instructor in the Mountain Hollow Farm Knit Along Club, where we help you become a better, more confident knitter. In this video, I will demonstrate how to pick up and knit on a garter stitch edge. The first thing I want to show you is the edge itself. Notice that there are bumps on the garter stitch edge. There's one, there's one, there's one, the whole way across the edge. Each bump is every other row. So one row is the bump, then there's a row between the bumps, another row on the bump, and another row between the bumps. Before I show you how to pick up and knit like most people do, I want to show you a quick little cheat. You can take a needle separate from your working needle and insert it into these strands right here, the whole way up your row, or for as many number of stitches as the pattern calls for. Now this only works if the pattern has you pick up every other row because these bumps that I'm picking up again are on every other row. And then slide your needle down to the opposite end and then you can knit those stitches like normal with your working needle. And that will you will have accomplished the pick up and knit after you knit them with the working yarn. And again, that only works when you're picking up every other row. You can do it if you're picking up a different number of rows but it's super convenient for the every other row deal. Okay, on the garter stitch edge a lot of times I'll work into just one strand because it's easy. If you want a sturdier edge you can work into two strands. If you look, let's see on this bump you can see them well, here's the strand I would normally work into and then there's another little bump right there. You can pick up both of those strands and work into them. For this video, I'm just going to work into the one strand. To pick up a knit on garter stitch, you work into the strand that's kind of right here, the bump, and knit into it. If you're picking up every row, you would then also knit into the strands between the bump, and there I do tend to pick up two strands because again it makes a sturdier edge. And then the next bump for the next row. And again in between them if you're picking up every row, pick up two strands. And one more time on the bump here. So when you have your edge picked up, it looks like this on the front. And it might look a little bit different if you're picking up two out of three rows or every other row. And on the back, it looks like this. You have just a little bit of a seam right there. And that is exactly what it's supposed to look like. For more knitting lessons, check out the link right above or below this video for the education-based Mountain Hollow Farm Knit Along Club, where we help knitters like you improve their skills and knit more confidently.